Leipne has not been seen since our last encounter. This brief respite may be our best chance to quell the Great One's terror. Make way for the saplings, Cupo. We've had plenty of practice cultivating our gardens, so selecting the most robust ones was a simple matter. That was the hardest work, so you can help us with the easy part. If you see a spot of corruption, cleanse the taint and plant the sapling in its place, Cupo. Do it enough times and the Great One is sure to understand that we're doing all we can to heal the forest, which ought to brighten its mood. We'll see to the East Shroud. You should have no trouble taking care of the rest, Cupo. Your efforts are much appreciated. We will begin without further delay. I trust you will not object to my company. I dare say healing the forest is one task for which I am more qualified than most. Elder Seedsia, are you well enough to leave the city? I should like to think I have been for some time. In any event, Sumi has finally grown tired of my objections and ceased his attempts to detain me further. Allow me to be the one to consecrate these saplings. Twould be an honor to offer words of thanks to the forest for its bounty. Please do, Cupo. A prayer from the Elder Seedseer herself will surely hasten their growth from tiny sapling to towering tree. Such is my hope. As Joran did before me, I shall approach the Great One in friendship, that it might see through the veil of fear that blinds it and remember our covenant. Let us begin by cleansing all traces of corruption in the central shroud. To green tier. I sense that the flow of ether has become warped there. Impressive, Cupo. Not even my keen eyes could spot corruption from such a distance. It is but one of many talents I owe to the elementals. Well then, shall we be on our way? I shall keep watch for errant beasts. This blight upon the forest must be cleansed. When you have finished, I shall consecrate the sapling and soil with prayer. In gratitude for your boundless blessings do I offer this gift. May it nourish you as you nourish us. At last, 
the earth is cleansed. There is a settlement not far from here. We should tell them of this sapling, bid them watch over and keep it safe from harm. Of course, Elder Seedsia. I shall relay your words forthwith. It will give the people hope to know that they can aid in the restoration of the 12s wood. Thank you. And now we must go. To Silent Arbor, there something foul impedes the flow of ether. Let us hurry. Look, the flowers here have withered and died. I shudder to think what the forest would look like if this were allowed to spread. Pray see to the corruption that I may plant and bless the sapling. The injury has begun to heal, and our next destination lies, to the north. Near, highest mill, I believe. Tis faint, for we are far from the source. Nevertheless, I am certain it is there. Come. So close to the hamlet. Is nowhere safe. Where must the people seek shelter from this corruption? Tis fortunate that the corruption here is faint. A simple prayer should suffice to cleanse this soil, after which we may plant the sapling. I sense no other disruptions in the etheric flow, which leads me to believe that the Mughals have already seen to the remainder. 
Indeed, the twelves would sigh with a contentment I have not felt in a long while. But will it serve to placate the Great One I cannot say. Not until we visit the Guardian Tree. Excuse me, but, you're the Elder Seed Seer, aren't you? What brings you all the way to our village? Corruption that had upset the balance of ether, but that we have since cleansed with prayer and saplings. Thus has the Twelves would reclaimed a measure of peace. You've, you've been planting trees. We have. The elementals have suffered much of late, and with these offerings we endeavor to raise their spirits. E. Elder Seed Seer, I've got to protest. What of your people's spirits, we who dread every step we must take out of doors? That terrible monster is still out there, preying upon innocent folk without rhyme or reason. And if it doesn't strike us dead where we stand, its poison will finish the job. I know that you are afraid. That you and yours suffer still. However, tis under the auspices of the elementals that we may call the Twelves Wood home, and they too cry out for deliverance. Even the Great One quakes with fear for the blasphemy's continued existence. To ignore their plight is to invite greater tragedy for us all. Rest assured, however, that I have not forgotten the needs of the people. We bring comfort to the elementals and renew our sacred ties that we might enlist the aid of the Great One in combating Gleipnir and the suffocating despair it spreads. And so I pray you continue to put your faith in our guardians, and in me. Would that we could, Elder Seed Seer, but we've been dealing with death and sickness since before Gleipnir's coming. They say the creeping death's nothing to fear these days, but we know better. One of ours caught it not long ago. We gave her the cure, had plenty on hand, and for a while we thought it would be alright, but by the time we realized it hadn't done a damn thing, it was too late to call for a conjurer. It was a sad day for all of us when she passed, but for none more so than her poor husband, Supin. He was beside himself with grief, and who could blame him? And then came Gleipnir to compound our woes. Supin? It cannot be. Do you speak of Sura Supin? Sura? No, no. Supin was an odd one, but no one mistake him for a patchel. Supin wasn't even his real name, that'd be Alenja. But his wife was fond of calling him Supin for some reason, and it caught on with the rest of us. I see. And what did Alenja look like? Well, I'd say he'd seen no more than thirty summers. Kept to himself, came and went with nary a word at times, though after he met his beloved, he became more of a fixture. Friendly, even. His wife was a sickly lass, but she had spirit. But spirit's not enough to beat the creeping death, Pity we couldn't do anything for her. He had finally made a new life for himself here. Thank you for recounting Alenja's story. Sad though it was, it has helped me to better understand how much you all have suffered. I promise that you will have cause to celebrate soon. Until then, I implore you again to place your faith in the elementals, and in me. Together we shall overcome this crisis. Despite what he said, I am certain this Alenja was Surasupin. To think that he was living so close by for all those years. Searching for new purpose, and finding true love only to be robbed of that fulfillment too. Were he still a Padjal, empowered by the elementals, could he have saved her? He would have dwelt on the question, night after sleepless night. I know I would have. 
Mayhap in the end he came to blame the elementals for his helplessness, for her death, and in despair was consumed. I, the animosity would linger, endure, and in Wenjian's would Leipni find its final purpose. We have done all we can to show the Great One the purity of our intent. Let us hope that we will be accepted as friends. Suffering was Sura's constant companion. Nay, it is still. For his sake, and ours, we must deliver him peace. Our supplications cannot have escaped the Great One's notice. May it be enough to receive an audience. O oh Great One, may I abide ever beneath your boughs, embraced by your compassion, grace, and wisdom. Bestill the fear within your heart, and know that I am your faithful servant. All feeling Passing corruption Refreshed Renewed green Flesh restored Child of child Covenant honored Friend Friendship Peace It worked. The Great One speaks through the Elder Seeds here. We were right to follow Jorin's example. Profanities spawn. Despair's orphan. Sadness and anger. Sadness. Death's prayer, one and all. Poison potent, wounds unmending, withering bark, no strength to share. After all we have done, you deny us. After all the elder Seedseer has endured. She has pledged herself to you, devoted her life to the Twelve S Wood. The people cried out for salvation, and she answered. The elementals cried out for deliverance, and she answered. Only you can help us now. If you do not, then we are lost. She is lost. Please, I beg you. We beg you. What? What are you doing here? 
We've been dependent on the seed seers all our lives, blaming them whenever something goes wrong, without ever considering what we might do ourselves. I, but no longer. The elder seed seer has gone to incredible lengths for her people, and so her people have come to return the favor. If her plea alone is not convincing enough, then we will raise our voices in support. We couldn't let them make the journey without protection. That, and we couldn't let them put us to shame. We too have come to stand with the Elder Seed Seer and beseech the Great One for aid. We all want the same thing, don't we? Peace restored to the forest, so please, share what you can, however little. Do not forsake us. Do not forsake her. Kani. Covenant's child. Walks with man, with elemental. Keeper of ancient faith. Unbroken. Cannot. Will not, break faith. To man, render up, flesh. Then you, agree to help us. flesh, branches. Take and join, to oldest elders. Renew bond, as one stir. Raise up, to heavens, covenant symbol. Our staff, all join, all bloom, all peace. My, my duty weighed heavy on my heart. So heavy that at times I scarce remembered to breathe. Four days and nights I worried that I would be found wanting. But by your faith and trust has the path forward been revealed to us. You came hither, united in purpose, and bared your hearts before the Great One. I, nay, Gridania, is forever in your debt. May I rely on you all once more? I bid you take these branches to every corner of the Twelves Wood and join them to the eldest trees, that we might finally win free of this despair. It shall be done, Elder Seed Seer. We swear it. Once the trees have been bound together in spirit, I shall carry out the Great One's final instruction and cast its cleansing power all across the Twelves Wood. Yet I must remind you, my friends, that Gleipnir still stalks the forest. It will not remain idle, it will attempt to stop us. Go with hope in your hearts, but do not lose sight of the danger.
I admit, for a moment I thought it wouldn't work. But the Elder Seedseer moved not only the hearts of the people, but that of the forest itself. Her final task appears to be a bit more complicated than the Great One made it sound, and so she must scour the ancient texts before the time comes, and consult with the Seedseer Council to make sure all goes according to plan. It's just as well. We still need to wait until the others have joined the Great One's branches to the many ancient trees scattered throughout the Twelve S Wood. Then, of course, there is the matter of Glaibnir. He will not go peacefully as we work to hasten his demise. When he comes, we must be ready.